It's the panel presented by Sportcheck on location here in Vancouver at Rogers Arena. Bob Stoffer, Jack Michaels, and myself, Tony Barr here, reporting from the 2019 NHL Draft. Gentlemen, the Oilers got their man in Broberg on day one. Day two with the number 38th overall pick. They elect to go with Halifax Moosehead Center. Raphael Lavoie. Yeah, I'm sure there were some nervous moments throughout the course of the start of the second round. I know there were a lot of calls that uh, Ottawa and Los Angeles got for those top two picks. I don't think for a second anybody in the Oilers organization believed that Raphael Lavoie would be there at 38. Obviously, the guy had an electrifying playoff performance that you know Halifax hosts the Memorial Cup this year. I would say the Oilers, Jack, a strong argument can be made in the eyes of many. They basically got two number one picks in this year's draft. It was very reminiscent of when they got Tyler Benson early in the second round, another guy that was projected to maybe be a late first rounder. In Lavoie's case, he was projected to be more of a mid first rounder, somewhere around 15. There were reports out of Philadelphia that the Flyers were looking him at 11. So to get a guy who scored 20 goals in the playoffs to lead his team to the Memorial Cup final. I mean, what you look for at 18, I mean, there's a variety of things. And Lavoie is a 6'4", 200 pounder, so he's got strength, he's got size, he's got skill, he can skate. And you know what? This year, he played his best hockey when it mattered most. And that is an attribute that you always look from your young players, or any player for that matter, that you eventually see wearing your team colors. Lavoie also added two goals in the Memorial Cup. They fell just short in the final. Final, but he described himself as a power forward. How much of that element is needed right now in the Oilers lineup, Bob? Well, I mean, again, we're projecting on players, you know, two or three years down the road. He is a late-born player, so that should be mentioned. I mean, he's a guy, theoretically, I mean, you know, he's going to, he'll need some time in Bakersfield, but uh, I think it changes the complexion, the makeup, a bit of their forward depth moving forward. They're a little light there, obviously, with Broberg going last night. Edmonton's got a lot of defense prospects. Lavoie now moves up to uh, you know some of the top end Oilers non NHL forward prospects. It was a draft where the Oilers went after a lot of size. I mean, their players that they acquired are all around 6'4 and 6'3, with the exception of Dineshkin with their very last pick of the draft, a 5'9, 165 pound center that's going to be playing with Konovalov, the goalie they drafted in the third round, and both are going to be playing for Craig McTavish next year. So it's nice with a guy close ties to the organization watching over those two prospects. But some of the things we talked about last night with respect to the fact that there's still very much a place for size in today's NHL. We saw the St. Louis Blues win the Stanley Cup this year. We saw the Edmonton Oilers draft a number of players in that 6-3, 6-4 range, Lavoie being the prize of day two. Uh, the Oilers will host their development cap beginning on Monday. We can definitely expect Broberg and Lavoie to be there, among other attendees. EdmontonOilers.com and Oilers TV will have you covered throughout the week. Signing off from Vancouver, Tony Brar here, Jack Michaels, and Bob Stoffer.